Welcome back to the American Dream as we now focus in on your local Austin market. My next guest is no stranger to the show, Paul Redham, a platinum top 50 Austin realtor with Holmesville Real Estate. And today he's brought along a very special guest with him, Jeff Lamkin, developer of Cinnamon Shore. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being on the program today. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Paul, I want to begin by talking to you. Last time we spoke, we talked a little bit about Austin's rising taxes and how that was really promoting some people to really reevaluate their real estate investment strategies. Tell me a little bit more about what's going on with that and how the market's looking right now. Yes, ma'am. A lot of people are looking to um, rejigger, I think we said last time, their portfolios and uh, trying to find good places to put their money. And um, one of the things that uh, uh, we did personally uh, last year is we invested in a little area called Cinnamon Shore. Uh, we looked at a whole lot of places where we could go and enjoy and have a great time um, and spend time with the kids. Um, but uh, Cinnamon Shore really came into clear focus for its proximity to Austin um, and all that stuff. So we sold a couple of rent houses as part of our rejiggering. And uh, we went down and we, we bought a beach house and we couldn't be happier. The kids... Uh, get to run around and we get to have memories while we're not there we get to enjoy rental income which is um, just a it, it's an unusual investment it's a wonderful thing to get to do so um, we brought we brought jeff on um, so people can hear hear more about uh, cinnamon shore from jeff jeff please i would love to hear about it i know that you have built a series of luxury properties along the shore along the texas coast tell me a little bit about cinnamon shore yeah so cinnamon shore is really it's just a simple family vacation. It's a master plan community where we've got, it, it appears more to an affluent group. So we've got homes ranging from about 275,000 up to about three and a half, four million dollars. And it's really just beautiful architecture, the latest in land planning techniques, great interior design on the Texas coast, which is uh, dramatically underrated. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Texas just doesn't have the reputation for having a beautiful coastline historically. Sure. And it's so close to Austin, it makes it it's like Austin's Beach. Oh, I love yeah. that. Well, and and now you're developing Cinnamon Shore South. What inspired you to do that? Well, we've sold out most of the original project. I mean, we've really had great demand, and we've been able to sell um, a few hundred homes already, and just people keep wanting more, and it's a pretty solid investment opportunity. We're able to deliver about 10% return on whatever amount of purchase price of the home you're buying. And as the demand exceeds our, exceeded our supply, we bought an addi some additional land to expand the project a little bit and bring world-class spa and some additional pools and just added retail and restaurants and just everything you need to have a full family vacation. Where are most of your buyers coming from? You mentioned that this is a little bit of Austin's beach. Do you have people coming from out of state as well? We have a few. I'd say it's really, it's a Texas beach primarily. Like we're probably 98% people from Texas and probably a third of those come from Austin. So we've got some from the San Antonio, Bernie area and some Dallas and Houston as well, but. And what do you think is motivating them to make these purchases? Do you think that these rising taxes have something to do with it? A lot of people have made a lot of money in real estate and some of the markets are getting a little bit more inflated. And so it's a place to redeploy some of the capital you might've made off your real estate that's appreciated in Austin as an example. And we've got a, there's pretty limited supply of beachfront property on the Texas coast. Like 86% of it can't be developed, 7% has. And so it's gonna be a, the place where the supply demand curve flexes and creates just a long-term steady investment opportunity. And I think people are starting to recognize that. Well, this question is really for both of you. What do you hope someone looking to purchase property on the Texas coast, what do you want them to know? You know, I'd say it's a perfect place to raise a family. I mean, you know, the, really the thing that motivated us to do this is we want to have a place where three generations, where grandparents and parents and the kids can all get together and hang out in this really safe environment and just have a beautiful beach that's close enough to drive to. And the fact that it's a good monetary investment as well is a nice add-on to it, I'd say. Sure. And Paul? I think it's really all about location, location, location. And I, I think the best part of the Texas coast is clearly in Cinnamon Shore. If you'll go down there and look at all the other communities, you'll, you'll see that it's really, really idyllic um, and it's luxury. And I don't think any of that's going to really go away. We go down there and we have a blast. You know, our journey was really going down there and vacationing. So we got to know the community. We got to feeling really comfortable with it. And um, it was a, just an easy decision. Um, and, I, and I think it'll be that way for anybody that goes down there. And a million memories to be had. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being on the American Dream today. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you for having us. And we'll be right back with more of the show. <laughs> 